Hey, what's up, guys? In today's video, I want to give you a brief tutorial on DistroKid. Recently, we got DistroKid and we wanted to try it out. We wanted to see why so many people flock to DistroKid. So as you can see, I haven't released anything. So this is what it's going to look like the first time you log into DistroKid. Now you have your options here. You can instantly master your track. Uh, this is going to use AI mastering through Mixia. And this is not included in your price. This is its own separate feature along with the creator website which is going to be used through Banzoogle they are only offering you a free trial and you don't have to be a DistroKid subscriber to get that free trial so I'm not even going to count this as a DistroKid feature because I could literally be on Ditto, Symphonic, Lander and still get that free trial nothing's different here but anyways now what we want to do is check out all our options here so you can upload your music on the screen here and i'm not going to go through the whole form we have a separate video for that but pretty much you can select if you're going to drop a single or an album of maximum 35 songs and also important is this is the first time you'll fill out your artist name so you won't do this anywhere else on the DistroKid page only when you release a track and when you need to change that name you need to go into any of your tracks or albums and change the name from there so let's go back here okay so again here we have so i haven't released anything but this will give you all your song statistics how it's performed across multiple platforms listeners spotify streams and so forth then on the next tab this is where you will do all your royalty splits this kid offers royalty splits but you will notice that it's only free for distrokid members the reality is the chances of you just working with people who distribute on distrokid are very low if you do add a non-distrokid member to one of your splits they will give that person a 50% discount coupon, which I mean is cool, but I'm not going to leave my distributor to go to DistroKid just so I can get my split. <laughs> so I, I, I wonder how they work around that or what is the actual fee for non-DistroKid users. Anyways, this one we're just going to ignore because this is just an upgrade panel. And here is the important one. So this is where you will see all your earnings and this is also where you will withdraw your earnings from so what is cool about this is that they give you breakdowns by artists by song by service i will say that from the outside looking in i thought distro kids layout was outdated but actually being inside it's really neat it's a nice user interface i like it it's simplistic Everything is easy to find. I, if I'm looking for something, it doesn't take me long to find it on DistroKid. This little block icon here shows you all the little extra things. This is also where you can set up your Spotify for artists, YouTube, um, artist channels, Apple Music for artists. And here you will find the, I've spoken about it before, your Spotify Canvas generator which is so cool that they have this so you can make your own custom canvases for Spotify music. Another cool thing for a beginner to check out is definitely Hyperfollow. So again, as I mentioned, I don't use this account, but once you get here, you will see you have no Hyperfollow pages yet. You can make one. Now keep in mind, you can make multiple Hyperfollow pages. But this is just going to be a cool little link that you can send that's going to link to maybe your top song right now or you just released a new music video here you can add images obviously your little bio here your name where you're from all your social media links um, youtube videos some of your songs tons of little things to branch out to all your different media platforms such a useful feature well done distrokid that's another thing i actually forgot to mention is distrokid has a referral system so pretty much distrokid gives you a code 
and you can share this code with anybody and if they sign up for DistroKid using your code, you will get $10 for every paid sign up. You can do the same thing for DistroVid and Mixia. So obviously referrals are always a smart way for any business to basically get more subscribers. I give you a little piece of the pie once off, but the money DistroKid is going to make is going to be way more than a $10. And so the last thing I wanted to show you is DistroKid's pricing. Here we have it up on the screen. And there are, of course, discounts if you're using referral links and so forth. These plans are billed annually as well. And you can see everything that you are going to get with each plan. Am I crazy about DistroKid? No. Do I think DistroKid is a good music distributor? Most definitely. And having a little more hands-on experience with the actual product shows me that there is some actual good to be had here with DistroKid. If you do decide to sign up with DistroKid, we do have a referral link right at the bottom of this video. If you decide not to, that's up to you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe.